Ralph Lake Mountain Trail is located in Farmington, Connecticut, just off Route 6. This mountain rises 500 feet above the Farmington River. This trail is a little over two miles long and connects to the Manicomic Trail. The Manicomic Trail is part of the 215 mile New England Trail, one of the nation's newest national scenic trails, linking the Long Island Sound in Connecticut to the New Hampshire border. In Connecticut, the trail is marked with blue blazes to keep you on the right path. The hike is fairly strenuous, but if your family members or pets are willing to take on the rocky slopes, then you're definitely in for a fun time. As you walk up the trail, you may begin to notice different plants and animals. You see different plants and animals on Rattlesnake Mountain because there are four different ecosystems. They are reclaimed orchard, forest, wetlands, and trap rock. So what kind of plant life might people miss while making a beeline to the top? You can see tulip poplars, sugar maples, red and white oak, white birch, white ash, beech, and shag bark hickory. And what kind of animals might people find on the trail? You might see squirrels, deer, turkey, raccoons, and garter snakes. Can you find rattlesnakes? No, at one time there were plenty of timber rattlesnakes around. Now they are endangered and can only be found in 10 towns in Connecticut. Farmington is not one of them. But there are other interesting animals around, and especially on the top of the mountain. Turkey vultures, black vultures, and red-tailed hawks looking for food off the Trap Rock Ridge. Here is an example of Trap Rock Ridges. Trap Rock on the Metacomet Ridge was formed approximately 200 million years ago during the late Triassic period. Lava began leaking out of the ground. The lava flowed out in layers that eventually formed a stair-step structure. Trap rock comes from the Scandinavian word trappa, meaning stair step. This rock is primarily composed of basalt with some sedimentary rock mixed in during erosion. The most famous formation of trap rock on Rattlesnake Mountain is Will Warren's Den. In the 17th century, William Warren attempted to burn down the village of Farmington after being flogged for stealing sheep. He was then pursued into Rattlesnake Mountain, where he was concealed in this cave by a group of Native American women. He lived there as a hermit, sneaking down occasionally to steal sheep until the end of his life. Now let's go inside. It's a tight squeeze. Okay. In the 1870s, a skeleton was discovered in the cave that was believed to be Warren himself. However, after forensic examination, it did not appear to correlate with the recorded aspects of his life. The cave, of course, still remains here on Rattlesnake Mound and is marked with a bronze plaque. People are allowed to come inside and see the conditions of Warren's final days. A short walk up the trail is the Overlook with a 180 degree view. Here you are able to see the city of Harford and Plainville. On a clear day, you can see Pinnacle Rock in Plainville, West Peak in Meriden, and even Sleeping Giant in Hamden. Behind you, there are two massive radio towers that overlook the whole mountain range. Along with the rich history, there are many things to do on Rattlesnake Mountain like geocaching. For you rock climbing enthusiasts, there are multiple rock climbing areas for a good workout. Keep in mind there are sharp rocks and large inclines on this trail. Safety should be first while hiking and always have some sort of outside communication with you. If you're looking for something to do in the Farmington area, then a hike up Rattlesnake Mountain is worth your while.